write cos of 2a and sine of 2a in terms of t equals tan of a. Hence or otherwise show that cos of 2a divided by 1 minus sine of 2a is equal to 1 plus tan of a divided by 1 minus tan of a. So since we're asking the question to write in terms of t equals tan of a, we're going to let t equal tan of a. Then cos of 2a, which is equal to 1 minus tan squared a divided by 1 plus tan squared a. This is from page 14 of our formula tables. We're going to rewrite the tans as t. So we get 1 minus tan squared a becomes 1 minus t squared. And 1 plus tan squared a becomes 1 plus t squared. So cos of 2a is 1 minus t squared divided by 1 plus t squared. We're going to do the same for sine of 2a, which from our formula book we're told is equal to 2 tan of a divided by 1 plus tan squared a. So the 2 tan of a becomes 2t and the 1 plus tan squared a becomes 1 plus t squared. So sine of 2a is equal to 2t divided by 1 plus t squared. So we're going to focus on the left hand side of our equation which said that cos of 2a is divided by 1 minus sine of 2a. So we swap the cos of 2a for 1 minus t squared divided by 1 plus t squared. And we swap the 1 minus sine of 2a for 1 minus 2t divided by 1 plus t squared. So this becomes this and this becomes this. Now we have a fraction in our numerator and a fraction in our denominator so we want to get rid of that. Since they both have the same denominator, we're going to multiply across by the denominator. So we're multiplying across by 1 plus t squared on the top and 1 plus t squared on the bottom. So that ends up cancelling out the denominators and we just have to multiply by the numerator. So it becomes this multiplied by 1 plus t squared over 1 and then this multiplied by 1 plus t squared over 1. And I'm going to let the 1 be 1 over 1. So just focusing on the numerator, the 1 plus t squared and the 1 plus t squared will cancel. And you're left with 1 minus t squared over 1, which is just 1 minus t squared. So that's the numerator sorted out. Now let's fix the denominator. So 1 times 1 plus t squared becomes 1 plus t squared. And 1 by 1 is 1, and that would be 1 plus t squared over 1, which is just 1 plus t squared. Then 2 t minus 2t over 1 plus t squared multiplied by 1 plus 2t squared. The 1 plus t squareds will cancel, leaving us with minus 2t. So we end up getting 1 plus t squared minus 2t. Next, we're going to factorize. So 1 minus t squared, we're going to do the difference of two squares. So we end up with 1 minus t multiplied by 1 plus t. Factorizing 1 plus t squared minus 2t, we end up with 1 minus t multiplied by 1 minus t, which is 1 minus t squared. And then we can start to simplify. So 1 minus t and 1 of the 1 minus t squareds on the bottom can cancel out. So this will cancel with this, but we're still left with 1 minus t on the bottom. And then we're left with 1 plus t on the top. So we have 1 plus t divided by 1 minus t. So the t's now we're going to rearrange and write as tan of a because that's what we had originally said t was equal to. So we're left with 1 plus tan of a divided by 1 minus tan of a, which is the right hand side. And that's what we were asked to show.